Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine here. Sort of a dark, dark day today. A uh, few puffies in the sky, which I'm going to tell you we need rain. I want to show y'all why. If, if y'all look down this creek bed, you'll see that it's about dried up completely. And from here, I can see a couple holes that's holding water. In these holes, we're going to be looking for fish. Now, it hasn't rained here in the Tennessee Valley a significant amount of rainfall in a long time. And I didn't realize that the creeks were this low. But now this is something that I rarely see. I mean, look, y'all can see right here that this is the water level. If you'll look at these rocks right here, see right here? It's kind of marked all the way down here. Here's another example. I mean, this water, I've never seen it this way before. It is way down. Here's another example. See where the black, the color sort of stops? Right there. So we're talking about 40 inches, 42 inches or more. And uh, look here. And I know what. See that right there? That is poop from a blue heron. Eagle poop looks different, and uh, you know, it's just all the art to it. But right here, look, I done see some activity right here. Y'all see that there's fish moving in here, but I don't really know if this is going to be a good place to start or not. I see a couple fish in there, but they just, they're very, very small. What I'm doing is looking for the better fish. This creek right here has some big red breast sunfish in it. When we do come across a hole, I expect it to be full of fish. Um, if we can find some holes deep enough. But they should be in a uh, fish in some of these. It's just about dried up too. So we'll sort of fish them all and see what we can find that's living in them holes. But I'm going to be fishing with light, light tackle. That was a hickory nut that fell. Or an acorn. But real, real light tackle. That's two pound test line, high vis line, mono. And that's a one inch curly tail jig. And I'm using a 164th of an ounce jig head with a size 10 hook. 1,000 size Daiwa reel with a sow belly rod, six and a half foot ultralight rod, limber as it can be. We're fixing to have some fun, but we may have to do a lot of walking to do it. I, a lot of walking. I'm not sure how much, but we'll do what we can do. Now this curly tail jig, if you noticed, I have it rigged up where the tail is in the same direction as the hook. Most people rigs the bait right opposite, but I'm going to tell y'all, this will give this little bait much better action in the water. It'll turn a lot easier in the water. Let's look at the action of this curly tail. Y'all see how I have it rigged. The tail is the same direction as the hook. All right. Let's look at the action. Y'all see that? That ain't nothing but action. Let's do it again. See that? Okay. I'm going to flip it over. Alright. Y'all see that? Y'all see how it looks in the water? The tail is turning. The tail is turning, but it don't it don't go through the water. It's sleek. Let's do it again. Out here. See how it's doing? 
it just don't look good at all in the water like that. It'll come through the water and look a lot better if you'll turn that tail the same direction as the hook. See how it's coming through there? Big difference, folks. One more time. Y'all see that? The water captures on the tail a lot better is what's happening and causes that tail to, to spin a lot better. I tell y'all what, folks, it is beautiful out here. The leaves is falling, and today, believe it or not, it's going to get up to 78 degrees, I believe, for the high. <laughs> but I see some fish right there. Let's see if we can get them to bite. Yeah, there's a few fish right there, but not many. But now, if y'all look right there above us, that's a, a big pole. Or it's a big enough pole, it's what I'm looking for, to hold some good fish. I finally come up on some. In the back here, behind us, I mean, there's fish in it. But nothing what you call good ones. Um, like I said before, this creek has got some big red-breast sunfish in it. And big bluegill, too. And I have caught some big red breast. There's one. There we go. Well, that's a little bass, I believe. Yep, because there's one right behind him. No, there's two, two bass behind him. Three bass behind him. <laughs> Y'all see them? Oh, my. He's wanting what's in his mouth. Right there. Ain't that pretty? Y'all see them? There's one, two, three bass. And I believe this is either a spot or mean mouth. I'm not sure. I'm not real sure, but I know one thing. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at there. Ain't that pretty? Barely got him hooked. But now that the sun's out, I see all kinds of fish. All kinds of fish out there. Now I've got some one inch smoke colored um, grubs like I'm using right now, curly tail grubs. I may have to swap to that color. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Instead of just white, because they might hit it, might hit it a lot better in this real clear water. I've got all kinds of little, little baits with me today. And when we find the right one, folks, we'll get bit. There ain't no doubt about it, but color does make a difference. Y'all see right here, all the different colors we got. Uh, here's a little smoke. Let me get one where the tail's in good shape. Okay, that one right there. We're going to try that and see if that'll make a difference. This is the smoke color. One inch grub. It actually looks a little bit smaller than that one inch. This could be three quarters of an inch. But it's a smoke color. It's got a little bit of glitter in it. Let's look at it in the water. All I can see is a little bit of flash. And the tail's working real good. It's spinning real good. That might make a difference. There he is. Got him. This is a big one right here. This is a big red breast sunfish. I thought it was a little bass. He followed it twice, and then he finally committed to it. Yeah, there he is. Y'all see how clear that water is? Perfectly clear. I mean, beautiful, beautiful water. But it makes it hard to get bit. Look at there. That's what I'm looking for. Big old pretty red breast sunfish like that right there.
So I think the smoke color is going to be the best. It's going to be the best. Let's let him go. Of course, the sun is coming out and going down, coming out and going down. So, you know, it's anybody's guess. You see that? Those are coyote tracks. There's been some coyotes hunting down this creek bed. Of course, that's nothing. We have lots of coyotes in this area. I want y'all to look how beautiful this is, this creek bed is. Look at there. Y'all see that? Golly, what an eagle. That was an eagle. These eagles are in here taking advantage of this, and that's one reason why I'm not catching a lot of fish in these shallow pools. They're just about got them all caught out. I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. That's why I need to find a little deeper pool, and if I'm not mistaken, if I remember right, there's a couple deep pools on down. here a pretty good piece but we'll just go ahead and I mean this is easy walking right here this ain't like a lot of the regular creek fishing wading adventures <laughs> we do a lot of times I'm knee deep and, and, and deeper and that'll give you out it's good exercise but it'll give you out now all this water right here is not but about that deep and I'm seeing uh, some crepe manners, a few, but not many. The ones that I'm seeing are real, real small. Uh, good size for like crappie, crappie fishing. Mm. Ooh, I like to bid it right there, folks. You talking about a blooper? I see some right there. There he is. Oh, golly, folks. That was a big one. Let's try that again. The water's a little bit deeper. And I was just working that jig on the bottom. I let it hit the bottom like that and just picked it up, let it fall. Picked it up, let it fall. I should have had that fish. There's one. Golly. That's got to be a big red breast. Get out of that meal full. There's little patches of meal full back here. Yeah. Big old red breast. This has turned out to be pretty good. I was in doubt that I was going to even be able to make a make y'all a fishing deal right here to be honest with you because um, the size of the fish just wasn't there. I mean, these ain't really monsters, but they're a lot bigger than what I've been catching. And I really, me, I'm the type of person that does like to catch quality fish, no matter what species. Um, you know, fishing's fishing, but I'm just being honest with y'all. But that's a pretty good red breast. Let's let him go. There he goes. He got a sore mouth, but he's going to be fine. Now, we're going to have some rain here in a couple of days, and, and it's going to start filling this creek up. I'm going to make another cast over there. Right there, I see him going to go up under that ledge, rock ledge. There he is. He come out from under that rock ledge and eat. We're catching them now. Fishing wasn't this good just about an hour ago. But they're biting now. That's another red breast. Look at the colors on this fish. Let's turn around here and look at him. Ain't that pretty? Okay, I 
see another fish out there. It seems like when I catch one, another one I'm replacing for some reason. Going back. There's quite a few right there in front of us, folks. Let's see if we can pump another one out there. There he is. Another good red breast. A lot of people says these fish don't fight. The red breasts don't fight. They do. You just need to... <laughs> if you want a fish to fight, especially these small panfish, move down and tackle. Wimpy, wimpy tackle. And you'll change your mind. Because they absolutely are strong. I mean, this fish, I'm letting him fight, and he's giving it to me. Quit. That's another good one. I've stood right here, and I've caught the fire out of them, folks. I come down through here about an hour ago, and I didn't see any evidence of fish anywhere. Now I'm seeing them everywhere out there swimming around. Ain't that something? Where'd they come from? I mean, whoops, let's get him, see if he, hey, there he goes, he knows where the water is, I mean, I didn't see nothing, the sun was out, and I looked, 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 didn't see anything, the best thing, I, I believe they were just up under these rock ledges, hiding, that bass, that bass, I've been trying to catch him. He keeps looking at that jig. I'm, I'm just making a cast. Letting it fall in front of him. And he acts like he's interested, folks. But he just won't grab it. My goodness, it's aggravating. There's one. There's a. Ooh, that's a good red breast sunfish. I was fixing to say that's a bass. These bass are following this little jig and they act like they want it, but they just won't get it. That fish right there, he went right in the middle of three bass and got it out from under them. I mean, he went right in amongst them. He says, well, if y'all don't want to eat it, I will. That's a big one. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's get her pliers and get him loosed. But one of the reasons I keep staying here is I'm, I, I keep wanting one of those bass to bite. I don't know if it's their small mouth or spotted bass or large mouth. I really don't know. Quit, quit, quit. Let's let it go. Oh, be. Oh, Walsh, Red River. Walsh keeps trying to get me getting around my old head, trying to. There he is right there. See him? See him in there? Them things right there. Get you. Them things is. See them right in there. Them things that get you, they'll, they'll make a blood blister come up on you. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Or here's one of them. Full of leaves, though. Let's see what we do. This is a big big bunch of water right here compared to what we've been seeing. Yep. That's what we're looking for. Okay. This ain't too deep right here, but I bet you on up. If I remember right, there's a deep hole. Of course, it's not. Look there. Y'all see that? That's coyote. Scat. I had, I had to think of the right name. Now, there's a lot of different words you could call it. 
Okay. Poop. Um, turd. Or really, that was two separate turds, wasn't it? Because one of them was separated from the other. But still, y'all get the drift. That's coats in here. On it. And wherever there's coyotes, there's big feet. Big feet is always after coyotes to eat. Okay. That water is super cold now. I'm talking about it's cold. But it seems like I'm always going to have to get my feet wet. But... See here, yeah, we're over here now. Let's try it from this. Did y'all see that? Different angle. I don't know why I didn't catch that fish. Let's try it again. There he is. <laughs> yeah, they got used to that bait coming from that direction, and they. Kept seeing her buddies get hooked, and her, they didn't want no part of it. It's a red breast. They didn't want no part of that. They wised up to me, so just changing angles a lot of times. It don't matter what you're fishing for. Just sort of working it on the bottom, which is a great way to... To work a bait when it comes to uh, any panfish, any time of the year. There he is. Golly. He's like a hog waller. I think this is a different species. Now, they used to be a lot of these in this creek right here. Every once in a while, and it got to where I didn't catch any at all. This is a green sunfish. Look how pretty he is. Ain't that pretty? It's been a while since I've seen one of them. Aggressive fish. Just like a war mouth. Just as aggressive as a war mouth. Let him go. There he goes. He's going to find him a... Now they love to get up under ledges and tight the trees or in trees, just like a war mouth. They have the exact same same habits. There's one. Another one. Golly. Am I gonna get him out of there? Golly, folks. Let me just hold pressure on him. We'll see what he is directly. Stubborn. Oh my goodness. This is the this might be the biggest one. Red breast sunfish we've caught. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know about all that. He's a good one though. Wow. I couldn't get him turned. I couldn't hardly turn him. Not with that light line. Thank you much. What a blessed day to be out here. What a blessed day just to wake up in the mornings. Well, folks, color is really important. And the reason why it is is because this is much more natural to these fish in this particular creek. Uh, them white and uh, there's no doubt that they hit this color a lot better a lot better and I caught a lot of fish using the smoke color and smoke is a, re a, a great color as far as representing the real thing a little bitty minner well folks we're right back where we started from that was a lot of fun ended up that the curly tail grub, an old little bait, but I'm gonna tell you a very effective bait, 
ended up catching a lot of fish. The fish were slow this morning because most of them were up under the rock ledges. They weren't actively feeding. When the water temperature started warming up a little bit, which it don't take long, not in water that deep, they started wanting to feed. Um, I tell you, we're blessed here in the United States to have so many creeks. They abound in just about every state in the United States. They're underutilized, a lot of fun to get out here and fish. No boat traffic out here, folks. Nothing but peace here in God's country. And I want to say thank y'all very much for watching the Richard Jean, the Fishing Machine Show. Uh, I'm getting tickled. We have had, I've had a great time doing this, and I, and I still do. I just can't believe that time is going by so quick. There's so many fish out here to catch, but yet so little time. Thank y'all very much for watching, and God bless each and every one of y'all. Woo. Okay, a drillogen. Drillogen. Wait. Hey, wait. Go, 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 Go